The knife reportedly found at the former Simpson estate is bringing back old memories for people in that neighborhood. CBS 2's Amy Johnson spoke with them. It was here in this Brentwood yard, the former home of O.J. Simpson, that the knife was allegedly found buried. It's amazing 20 years later this piece of evidence has, has been found. Haig Akiam lives across the street and was just 10 years old when he watched the murder investigation play out before his eyes. It was a little shocking, uh, a little entertaining at the same time. Seeing all the media here brings back a lot of memories for many of the Brentwood neighbors. We was here with the O.J. Simpson. Uh, debacle and uh, there were trucks all up and down these streets. And Dick Johnson and can't believe it took so long for a knife to be turned into the LAPD. I think anything like that you need to turn it into the authorities. The delay has Wayne Gonzalez skeptical. He thinks this has something to do with the TV show currently airing on FX about the O.J. Simpson case. I think it's the show. I really do. He had all these years to do it, you know, to come forth and now it's just really weird how it happened right after. This FX series. This is where the murders happened. It's just a little more than a mile away from the Rockingham estate, but it's a much different scene. It's much quieter. There's no lines of media, but certainly the people in the area haven't forgotten about the tragedy that happened here on Bundy Drive. I saw all the vultures come and pounce on this neighborhood. It was it was pretty much a circus. Jessie, who didn't want to give her last name, has walked past this condo for more than 20 years. She was a letter carrier and delivered the mail to Nicole Brown Simpson's home. It was really tragic, all the stuff that went down. Why would the officer hold on for it for so long? At this point, what good is it going to do? I mean, they can't try him again. But she knows the evidence could help those still dealing with the tragedies. I mean, it may bring closure, a little bit more closure to the family. It appears there may still be no answer for questions that have lingered for more than two decades. In Brentwood, Amy Johnson, CBS 2 News.